hi. Didn't see you there. Well, I mean, since you're already tuning in, why don't we just shut the fuck up and try to review some new shit from Joe Malone on Den, okay? This may sound really, really silly, but I was literally browsing Instagram and I saw this ad. <laughs> and I was like, wait, there's a new Joe Malone collection? And I went to the store um, close to my house and I get it right away. It comes out with this little tiny, not tiny, but like, you know, kind of big box, you know? This is a type of like container where you put teas, you know, your tea bags, your sugar, you know, all your mommy's weird little potion, you know, in there, or you know, your grandma's pills or whatever. The Great Britain Summer Collection by Jo Malone. This is a limited edition of these beautiful five different cologne. Elderflower Cordial Cologne. Mmm, this is interesting. I smell hawthorn for some reason, which is some sort of berries probably. It's from gooseberries. This one smells very delicious, but it's not in a annoying kind of Tom Fork gourmet kind of situation here. It's actually very cute, but not in an annoying way. I do recommend this very much. Next one is the Rose Blush. Okay, now if you don't know, oh, Jo Malone, they have this red rose cologne, which is probably the worst. I've mentioned a couple of times before, I'd probably be one of the worst cologne on the planet of the rose scent. It's one of this, those kind of, it's one of those like rose fragrance that is really, really get into your head and it's give you dizziness, like all annoying stuff happening, and especially their candles. I really hate to say this because my best friend gave me as a gift. I use them, but it's just, oh, it's one of the worst. And again, I don't believe they're gonna switch to a brand new, different olfactive kind of thing. So it might smell like that one. It's not purely rose fruit, like like lychee, like that kind of fruit. It kind of just balanced out that very intense rose scented a lot. So it's like a very soft version of their previous one. Even though I'm still not a huge huge fan of it, but this one is definitely way much better than their rose cologne. It's tangy rhubarb. Still smells orange. The top note is the rhubarb, the base note is cedarwood. Yeah, that's actually a very beautiful combination. This smells really delicious, that's why. I don't want myself to smell like this, but it's a very, again, it's one of these scents that's just gonna, um, it's perfect for like a, probably like a, like a getaway trip to some like nature shit. The next one is Orange Peel Cologne, which is the one that I'm very, very excited because I love, love their orange blossom candles. Very interesting. I have, to, I have to say by saying this, it does smell very orange and it definitely, definitely has a woody base, which makes this, which this may sound really weird because I don't want to say masculine because I don't believe fragrance has a gender, but it does smell like a cologne. It's very refreshing. It's very cute. Last one is Blackberry and Bay. Okay, so this one I do have the right, which is this. It's going to smell like the, the, the body lotion. Yeah. It smells, it smells like the body lotion. It just feels like it's one of these things that you wanted to, I don't know, put it in your hand. Um, but I don't know personally what I want to smell like this though, right? Compared to the previously limited collection, this one is pretty, pretty cute. Plus the packaging, loving this box for some reason. I, that's it, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.